When it comes to the cameras on the iPhone, Apple have never been one to join the Android games in terms of megapixels, zooms, and just the amount of cameras you can get on a phone. But as we've seen, Apple are toying around with adding a new type of sensor to the camera systems of some of their products, most notably the new iPad Pro, this new LiDAR sensor. It's a really weird looking sensor to put on the back of a smartphone. It looks even weirder on the iPad Pro, but it has some really cool functions. So definitely the big news story today is these schematic drawings that were leaked, which supposedly show some iPhone 12 or iPhone 2020 iOS 14 schematics for a new camera design with what looks like the new LiDAR sensor. This was leaked by a couple of different accounts, both on Twitter and on Instagram, and shows a quad camera setup, although there are three lenses, so three camera units, and then this weird new LiDAR sensor, similar to the one that Apple have used on the iPad Pro. LiDAR works by using a form of pulsed laser that can measure the distance to certain objects, and then can be recorded by the system to generate precise three-dimensional information about the areas that it's scanning. This could actually help the camera systems on the iPhone 12 a lot. If everything is mapped 3D, you could actually add a load of different effects. It could definitely help with portrait modes as well. But really the big advantage of what LiDAR can do is with the augmented reality types of apps that Apple are without a doubt working on. Because LiDAR can completely map the environment that it's scanning, there are just a ton of applications for this. Whether Apple want to use this more for augmenting the camera quality and different effects, or they just want to use it more for AR applications is of course up to Apple. Apple is apparently already working on some applications in iOS 14, for example, the Find My app and the Maps application. Apparently these new apps will be part of iOS 14, which will be preloaded onto the iPhone 12 phones when they come towards the end of the year. So can we believe this leak? Well, there are a few iPhone leakers out there saying that this actually isn't a fake or a concept. This was found as part of one of the iOS 14 builds. There's also code in iOS 14 pointing towards the use of a time of flight sensor, which this LiDAR sensor would be capable of doing. So it definitely looks like Apple are working on this and this might be part of some different prototype units that are out there right now. And we don't know whether this will be confirmed and go into the final product. Prototype units can change, but this is definitely something Apple are working on from all this information that we've recently found. Separately, we also got leaks about Apple possibly trying out some new hardware for the upper tier models of the iPhone 12 series with some bigger camera sensors, and that would mean some big improvements in camera quality too. We can see from these schematics that there are no periscope cameras to be used. The three camera lenses are all round like they have been before. So don't expect any crazy zoom ranges on the iPhone 12 series like we see in the periscope zoom camera type of phones like we get from Samsung and Huawei. The rounded camera lenses suggest that Apple will be staying with the normal zoom lenses, maybe a two times. They may even bump it up to three times. We'll have to wait and see when the iPhone comes later this year. And to quickly finish off, we got some leaks from iOS 14 from this Twitter user, Donglebook Pro. Great name, by the way. These are alleged screenshots from an iOS 14 settings page and show something called collections and customization options. It also mentions something called home screen appearance. This would allow users to choose a dark or a dim theme or even blurred versions of those wallpapers. And also part of that leak suggested that Apple may add some widgets that can actually be moved around just like apps. For example, a weather widget that also shows you the time to be moved around on the screen. That would be an absolute first for Apple and the iPhone. Difficult to confirm or deny these leaks, but 9to5Mac seems to think they are pretty accurate too and do come from an early iOS 14 build. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now. But I'll see you in the next one.